Hey guys, this is Sean Sanders. Thank you so much for clicking onto my channel. So hit that like button, subscribe, and tell a friend about me. So just in case you didn't know, you can find me on other social media platforms. You can find me on Periscope. You can find me on Instagram and Twitter. Same name, keeping it simple. So happy Veterans Day to all of my veterans. So it is a beautiful day. It is Veterans Day. I want to say thank you for all of your service to all my veterans, all my brothers and sisters in arms. So if you are new to my channel, uh, I am a veteran. I'll tell you my story real fast. And then I just wanna do some shout outs for some veterans that I know and in your comments, uh, to all my subscribers, people who are sliding through. If you are a veteran if, and you want to tell me a little bit of your story so I can thank you for your service, I would be very honored to do that. So, uh, next month, uh, December 6th, is going to mark six years that I have been retired from the Air Force, served honorably for 23 years. I retired as an E-8 Senior Master Sergeant. Uh, the highest you can go is E9 Chief Master Sergeant. So I retired when I was still on top. And I could have made Chief, but my family wanted me to, to retire. And I wanted to, you know, it was time to go. So I decided to retire. So I joined the military November 21st, uh, 1987, at the ripe young age of 17. And uh, I went to Fort Devens for my training. Uh, my first job was as a Morse code systems operator. And it was a joint service uh, base. So uh, Army and Air Force uh, trained at Fort Devens. I then went to get additional training at Pensacola, Florida uh, for printer systems uh, operator so I did the traditional dit dit dot uh, Morse code and then I did satellite uh, signals so uh, my first duty station was uh, Chick Sands Royal Air Force Chick Sands in England and I served there from 88 to 91 I went to Air Base uh, Osan Air Base Korea and I was there from 91 to 92. Incidentally, I was supposed to go to Greece right after that because I had, when I left uh, England, I had orders to go directly to Greece after after Korea. I had, I had that all set up. And unfortunately, I wasn't supposed to leave uh, Korea until October and they started stopping all orders in August to Greece because they were shutting down um, in Surlik, I think uh, in Greece so my orders got to cancel and I was really upset so I decided uh, I did not want they were gonna send people to Japan I was not interested in staying on the east I'm more of a European girl and I really only went to Korea so that I could get back to Europe someplace else other than England so I was not happy about that so I decided to go back to the States so I went back to the States in 91 no 92 and I was stationed at Fort Meade uh, Maryland and that is where NSA is and that's where I worked I would I worked at NSA doing my job and I worked there from 92 to 97 and during that time uh, I got married to my husband who I had known since uh, tech school in Fort Devens uh, I had my life he had his life and we met up again in Maryland and we um, be, from friendship uh, became boyfriend and girlfriend and uh, we got married at Fort Meade. Uh, I decided I definitely didn't want to go back uh, to overseas because those orders were coming out all the people uh, they cycle so it was pretty apparent that I was possibly gonna go back to back overseas because our job is primarily an overseas job not a lot of stateside uh, for this job so I made the decision I was gonna get out I by that time served 10 years active duty and so we moved to uh, Indiana 
because that's where he's from and his son uh, was going to be we were going to be closer to him son at the time lived in Kentucky but all the family on both sides live in Indiana so I decided to get out and got stationed at Grissom Air Reserve Base in near Peru Indiana so I got out of active duty November 21st 97 and then went into reserves November 22nd 97 so I never had a break in service and uh, served the last 13 years of the military as a reservist uh, which was not traditional one weekend out of the year one two weeks out of the year and one weekend a month I worked a lot a lot a lot of uh, time uh, of course I've been during all of the conflicts uh, in my career um, I was actually working at NSA when the first uh, New York attack happened. So I've seen a lot. Um, I was pregnant with my son uh, during 9-11. Uh, I did get called up, but I did not have to go because I, I had just given birth. My son was born 9-13. So uh, I retired in December, December 6, 2000. 10. So it's been uh, a wonderful career. Uh, I've been all over the world. I, you know, I had TDY in Italy. I've been to Germany, uh, Belgium, uh, France. I was at Nice, France, not for duty, but uh, to visit. So I, I've had a great career. Uh, I come from a, a long military line of family. Um, my husband is a veteran. His father served in the um, Army Air Force, uh, died on, in duty. Uh, my oldest son is a Navy veteran. My nephew, who is my son's nephew, uh, he is now um, was uh, enlisted and is now serving as an officer in the Navy. So he crossed over and he's a Navy officer. And uh, you know, my daughter's thinking about joining uh, the military. So we, we are a big military family. So that is my military story. I have no regrets. I had a great career. Oh, and in the, in the reserves, I, I cross trained into being a medical admin and in that job, I did drug urinalysis testing. So I did all the drug testing on the base for military and civilian personnel. I uh, was in charge of that program. So a very uh, important program and one that I took um, very seriously and uh, very proudly. So yeah, that's my military story. So I want to thank all my veterans out there and I wanna give a special, Veterans Day shout out to my YouTube family, those that I do know who are veterans. If you are a YouTuber and you are on my channel, please let me know that you are a veteran so I can thank you honorably for your service. So I want to thank out the, the YouTubers that I do know who are veterans. And if I've missed anyone, I'm sorry, but leave it down below. So Justin J1232, uh, Sayshawn Bradley and my girl because there's not a lot of women uh, veterans that I get to say this to uh, but Squeaky Jones uh, my sister in arms I want to also thank you for your service so again happy Veterans Day hug a veteran thank them for their, their service I've already enjoyed my Denny's Veterans Day breakfast and I'm going to go to Applebee's for lunch with my husband and I'm going to enjoy this day because it only comes once a year. So take care of yourself and each other and I'll talk to you tomorrow, nonstop November. Bye.